you have to sub to the channel. I have ideas too. What's up, guys? Hbox here, and I will now rank every single one of my pop offs according to this lovely spreadsheet that one of the members of the Smash community made. Uh, it's an incredible opus of work, but I am the true authority on these pop offs, not anyone else who's ranking them. And I'm gonna let you know right now which one is truly the best one. And let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right. My first ever pop off from 09 recorded. Tipped off five, unknown set. Well, it's not unknown. This is me versus Mewtwo King, winner's finals of tipped off five. First ever regional I won over him. This is game five, last talk, classic. And this happens. Back air, back air. Grab the ledge. He dies. And I want to freeze frame right there because that is my belly in all its glorious beauty. The truffle shuffle, as we call it. That is pure elation and joy, though. My face is kind of like, like, I mean, I'm, I mean, I, it, no, yeah, yeah. I, I never, uh, look, look at that, that, the jeans that don't fit too well, the wrinkled soda faded logo t-shirt of 15, 16 year old H-Box. It's just me in my prime. And we won that. And that was basically it. Um, so that one, I'm going to give a, uh, an 8.5 out of 10, maybe even a nine. It's honest. That's honest, childlike innocence and happiness for finally beating me too, King. Hey guys, what's up? It's Hungrybox here, and I'd like to give a special shout out to today's sponsor for our video, Audible. Now, we've worked with Audible in the past, but I'm excited to announce that today we can talk about one of the newer services, and it's called Audible Plus. With Audible Plus, you get full access to their popular Plus catalog. You can listen to thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts. There's also shows and series with no ads, and you can stream them anytime or download them to your devices. And you can try it for 30 days free on me by going to audible.com slash hungrybox or text hungrybox to 500 500. Uh, lately, I've actually been checking out a lot of my old childhood favorites, mainly by Roald Dahl. Uh, Roald Dahl, actually, he's the author of a lot of very famous movies and or books that have been, you know, turned into movies, kind of like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, uh, Matilda, you know, the BFG, the Witches, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Like, to me, he's the greatest author of all time for children's books, and listening to them on Audible Plus just kind of makes me have that nostalgia that I haven't had in a while. So I've definitely been enjoying it, and I'm really, really happy that it's included. Definitely go to audible.com slash Hungrybox right now, or text Hungrybox to 500-500. And with that, let's get on with the video. Uh, next up here, we have me versus Mango, uh, NCR. Oh my God, this is, this is looking like a wrap. Looking like a wrap, and Hungrybox takes first place in North Carolina Regional. Actually an emotional win for me because that was the first time I ever beat Mango, I think. He was my demon in like every bracket ever. Um, and to get to that tournament, I had to pay $400 for a plane ticket. And the only way to get my money back was to win first place, which was like 750 bucks. And like second place was like 300 bucks. So the only way for me to make any profit that trip was to win the entire thing. And uh, you know, that was kind of a gamble for me back then. So I went and I did it and I won. And I was just very relieved because I had no idea I was gonna beat him. But the thing, the problem was I was too caught in the moment. I was way too caught in the moment. I guess I can't say I didn't shake Mango's hand or he didn't shake my hand. We just didn't shake hands. But I did go to him afterwards and he wasn't having it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give that one a, a, a 6 out of 10. Because in hindsight, you know, granted it was a very important win to me, but it's always important to shake your opponent's hand. Uh, next one is me versus Armada Genesis 2 winner set game one. Ah, the timeout. Dreamland, game one. Notice the percents here. Armada up bees me. We're 1% difference. This is like something out of a Hollywood script. And of course, my reaction. I can't f believe it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's crazy. It's actually wild. I I I I I, I, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing there. Um, and of course, I I take a moment to collect myself. But then I end up just losing. If I would have won the set, I would have put it like a sick pop off. But um, you know, just the the roar, the 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 fist up, you know. That's iconic a little bit. Oh, it's, it's kind of iconic. I'll, I'll give it like a 6.5. Um, next up is Big House 2 versus Ryan Ford. Of course, game five, last stock. And he called it. There's a freeze frame for a second because the video can't handle it. And I get up, and this was important because like this would have been a huge upset and I would have been not had a chance to play Mango. But I win. 
I almost, I almost hit the TV. Why do I always do that? I don't know what it is with me and slapping TVs. It's like I'm at anger. Ryan Ford's going for the handshake. I'm um, have my moment. Scar visibly cringing. And then I finally shake his hand. <laughs> my awareness after I win a set is like, a, I have like the memory of a goldfish. Like I, I, I forget I'm even next to another human being. So looking back, I hate these. <laughs> I, I hate when I forget to shake a person's hand. Cause I'm two in the moment. I'll get it at the end of time. Big House 3 losers finals. Oh yeah, I mean, this is a moment. You know the story? I'm, 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 I'm losing a PPMD. I put on my headphones. I play Yeezus by Kanye West. I just start styling on him. Like popping off, have myself up, yelling to the crowd. I'm saying, fuck you to the crowd or something. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just amped up. I look like I'm on drugs or something. I did whatever I could to get my mind the entire set. Uh, but this last one... This is one of my favorite pops of all time. So that first one, like a 5 out of 10. But Maybe this one right here. Right now. Oh, the laser a big back air. Rest. Rest. And I mean, just look at the elation on my face. I was wearing those green headbuds. You notice those green headbuds no longer exist. Also, I won at 69%, by the way. Um, those headbuds just completely in two pieces right now. I roar. I mean, look at the whole crowd with me. I mean, this is like literally a Renaissance painting. How about this one? I call it bold and bright. More like belongs in the trash. Ah! And I roar. It's over. Second roar. Oh my and then I collect Everybody myself. His hands on his head. My back is all sweaty. I'm drenched. It's over. Couldn't Pop believe it. Couldn't believe it. And at that point, and then I played Me Too King and I got destroyed. But that pop-off in and of itself, that is a 10. That is a 10 out of 10 pop-off. That is pure joy. Next up is uh, uh, Gommel loses finals versus Me Too King. And this was important because I had been on a huge losing streak to Me Too King and I couldn't beat him for like months and months and months. And then... Situation right now. Yeah. Gimmer's trying to talk to us. I don't know why. Come on, Gimmer. Come on. Up throw. Okay, but he gets out of it. Jabber. Jab and I remember, I, I like get up and I fall to the ground. I like, Come on, get look, 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 look at me right here. I just fall to the ground. Okay, but he gets out of it. I roar like, and, and then someone like hugs me. Is that coast? Oh, coast word. I'm wearing liquids. My 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 boss's like jersey. Back at curse. That's a dope pop up. Eight out of ten. Evo 2014 winners quarters. PPMD was the heavy favorite to beat me here. No one had any expectation of me beating him. This is quarters. Crouching, waiting. Yeah. Please miss this tag. And then I get like a sick nair grab, I think. No, I get the up tilt of ages. Oh my god! Into a rest. I could not believe what was happening. And then someone puts a hat on me. Oh my god. And he's a wizard. No one. I go for the handshake. My buddy Sean comes to hug me. That was, that was a huge upset. Like PPMD, this was Evo 2014. You have to imagine how good PPMD's 2014 was. So for me to even win there was like a miracle too. Um, so that was, I mean, I get up and I get up with a with the chat. So in terms of the pop-up itself, a, a significant win in the pop-up will get like a seven. Evo 2014 losers finals versus Armada. Armada had 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 my number with Young Link for so long, and I could not beat this dumb little, dumb little blonde, sorty guy. I couldn't beat him until this moment. I didn't try the Fox, didn't try the Falco. Went back to Puff, and I get this sick string on him on Yoshi's. Look at this. It's game five. He's fighting. Nair fair up air. And I beat Armada. Hungrybox beats Armada. I jump up. I roar. I'm like, whoa! Oh, whoa! <laughs> I love that one. And I was jumping to the crowd. I'm playing to the crowd. I'm jumping around the stage. I'm using the whole stage for it. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, Forte 2, winner semis, Javi. This one, this one's crazy. Again, game 5, last talk. You're going to get used to that. That's usually when a pop-up happen. This, the crowd here was so against me. Like, all of the players, Texas and all the Mexican players, were jeering and rooting so hard against me. Because if Holly beat me, that's like a huge upset. And he was really, really good. But I end up 
I, I, actually, I actually wasn't sure who was going to get the Getting, crowd, I think it's an Edgeguard. The crowd favor. Oh, he's winning with the... Oh, Nair. that's it. Probably, yes. So much and I yelled to the crowd like, you <laughs> f***ing like that? You like that <laughs> Sometimes you need the crowd to get you angry to win and that was there. So that was dope pop off. I'm going to give it a 7. Uh, Paragon 2015 versus Armada. This was the first time I think I ever beat Armada's Fox. And this is, it was game 5. I beat his Peach game 1 and then it went Fox. He beats me two games in a row. I beat him a fourth game. And it goes to a really tense game five again. And this was in my home city of Orlando. And for the first time ever, like, my home city was cheering for me, which is really, really rare. Um, and I was going off that energy. Armada big time. I get a, oh, yes. I get a forward throw. Give him a rest. Him off. Walk forward, rest. The entirety, the entirety, apart from Zoo, the entirety of the crowd was super, super oh, happy for me. Like, I had defended my city versus the Swedish intruder. Oh my gosh. So I was having my moment. Bro, it's not gonna, like, you have to understand, even my home state almost never cheered for me. So it's the one time they were, and I was gonna milk it. Hungry box. When I come back down, wow, dude. I gotta shake his hand. I, gotta I was proud of myself. <laughs> I was proud of myself, yeah, I mean, dude. We're standing up on two, dude. That was good. I was, I was I was super happy. You know what? I like that pop off. Everyone else hates it. I love that pop off. I love the one time Orlando was cheering for me. I'll take it, dude. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I'm gonna give it a nine. I stood up on the chair. On the chair. Me versus Left in game four. The beef with us has been brewing for a while now. And I end up uh oh, 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 some stage, but not enough to get performing really well and then Left and goes for the handshake, and I end up just popping off and running off camera. There's a better angle of it where I jump up on the stage like twice. I feel like a seven out or eight out of ten. Uh, press start against S Fat. Game five, one of the most spaghetti endings of all time. S Fat was up three stocks to one. This is a three stock comeback. I get a back air, and then he SD. <laughs> he misses the up smash, and then he SDs. But because it's game five and the stakes are so high in this tournament, I. <laughs> I decided to put all my passion, anger, and fury into an innocent chair, slam it down. I roar. I punch the f out of that table. I mean, look at these bottles. Look at look look at look at the. Look at the the, 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 the the angle of the bottles. All right, that, maybe some physicists can explain exactly the amount of force, how many newtons went to that table to allow a bottle of balls and and zephyrals to do that. I slam the table, roar again, shake the hand because I am a I'm a good fair competitor. I gotta be good, and I roar again. Punch it again. Eight point five out of ten. FC return losers finals again I was on a huge losing streak to Armada here that's it. That's it. That's the and I was surprised he died from that rest Eliminated. I go for the hit I go for the Three fist bump right now. oh man the reaction Woo. advancing to grand finals Armada eliminated this set was super controversial because I pulled out the whole let's camping stalling strategy worked unfortunately one of the uglier sides of melee um but I ended up beating him and it was weird to me that I had won doing that. So I think that's why I was like softly surprised. I didn't jump up with that pop-off at all because I'm just like, it was. It sucks that I had to resort to that, but that's what it took to beat him. So it was both happiness that I won, but also me being worried about the future of the meta for this matchup in the game. And um, I had to just think about it. And I was just like, oh, I won doing that. So I, I'm gonna give that one a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's like a shameful pop-off. Evo 2015. Winner's quarters against Leffen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude.
Oh, you know, you know, I can look back at this now and sort of think, what the f*** <laughs> is this guy on? Melee meant a lot to me. Leffen had also been a big struggle for me at the moment. Uh, I beat him 2-0 there. So it wasn't even like a super clutch win. He just like did a bad recovery. But I got super excited. The reason I got so excited here is because um, qualifying for top eight at EVO is like the most grueling, stressful thing you can go through. <laughs> I'm just blushing watching that one, dude. I mean, <laughs> what do I even give that? <laughs> the six out of 10. It's just so sloppy. Me versus Mewtwo King frame, perfect series, Orlando local. Game five, last stock again. So this reminds me exactly that Tithal 5 set. This could be it, oh, off for a bear. Winner's finals. Really crisp play from both players right now. They're not dropping that at all. Oh, wow. I mean a rest. Let's go all, look at Jump all. up. Yeah. I did a jump up pop off, but my handshake reaction time is very quick. See that? Not dropping that at all. Jump up. How long does it take me? Oh, One, Let's go all. two, go all. two seconds. Pop off and then handshake in two seconds. That's pretty good. That's a clean pop off. That's a solid eight. Yeah. I like that one. Not bad. That one's clean. Uh, Bow to the Five Gods winners finals versus Armada. Let, let me remind you that this is one of the only times I had, you know, this is 2016. Armada's best player in the world. And I'm about to 3-0 him. I think this is like the only 3-0 I got on him this year, I think. Um, so this win meant a lot to me. This is tense right now, man. Every every little hit for sure helps a lot. Even every little laser is, is you know, inching him towards that percent. <sighs> oh my god, good recovery from Armada, but the edge gets another grab. Oh! oh the edge I ahead. jump up and Hobby walk Bob. off. The set. Wait, is my boy Marcus cheering me on. So that, that, that's an interesting one. I'll give it like a six. Mass went two winner semis against Mango. Winner semis is super important. Mango dies. He has the lead here, game five. And then... Once again, either player's game right now. Hunting Box is amazing in these scenarios, though. He yes, he is. Yeah. He's so good. He's so but he's very Up throw. That was a, that was a That's it. Us. So right here, um, the reason this was so scary for me is because I instead of going for the rest, I just opt to go for an up air here instead. And basically, if I miss this up air, I just die. Yes, he I miss his rest of die, right? Grab. And then right here, if I miss this rest or phantoms, I die to my death. Like, even without him punishing me. So this is the all or nothing. The moment I click the button, the B button, the set's over. And then he dies to the side oh, too, and I die. Oh my god. There it is. Good shit, Fox. Wow. Holy Damn, crap. Mango. You just got done saying Hungry Rocks is amazing in these scenarios. Yeah, he is. No, he seriously is. What's crazy is he had, he had the rest set up, went for an up air to... <laughs> Look at the energy in the room, dude. Look at look at how happy everyone is that I won. Actually, yeah. arrested him on the platform. Yeah, like, yeah, like two or three chances. <laughs> yeah, and he kind of. Dude, <laughs> it's so it's just so obvious. That <laughs> blur, Prince of Boo, Silent Wolf, Lovage, Scott. <laughs> Went for the last one. That set was neck and neck. They kept who was they, it was like. A <laughs> and then Axe, of course. Uh, I was the only one even excited about that win. I mean, everyone wanted Mango to win. It's it's just the role that I played. <laughs> it's just, that was the quietest a room has ever been. It's like a four out of ten. Winners semis smash and splash two. He pushed the game five, and then I was down a percent by seventy five percent. So this is it. Game five again. Last hit, last but he's talk. He's waiting on that respawn platform. He's yeah. thinking hard. Right now, oh! for both of them. And I clutch it out oh, yeah, so dude. hard, no. and I pound my chest. Oh. Oh. And it's no. The legend That's of clutch box. No. That was a quick flex, but that was the crowd was kind of against me there too. So I was happy to win that. Early smash and splash. Give that a seven. I like the pop off. Low tier city four winners semis. Stage interesting side B. Getting it back towards center stage. He made it though. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Man. He four stucks me on game three, and a four stuck is like the most mentally like the biggest mental impact that someone can do to you. So the fact that I like held it together and I brought it back, uh, we go to Yoshi's story and so much. it's game five. Yeah, you, I mean, if you consider how many times he's got gimped by just like being tapped off stage. <laughs> oh. Game five, last oh, stock. But still kills off the side. 24%. Up air, oh, God. Oh, rest. I make sure to take off my headphones this time. Cause these are like Apple headphones and I want to break them. 
A roar for a Ooh, second. Was that I, just heard? I think that was H box. And then I still go for the handshake. I just had pent up energy. I had to roar to get it out. And I got to the handshake. Hbox yeah, <laughs> just heard yelling, right? Okay. Popping and off a little bit there. Hbox is uh, a lot of people will be like, oh, why'd you pop off? You're the better rank player, blah, 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 blah. But Hbox recently went into it in his interview with Smash and Splash. When he presses down B, he's ending the game. It's true. I'll give it like a five. Low two city four grand finals. So just beat Lucky, now gotta beat Mango. Basically the Norwalk back to back. Grand finals, I'm up 2-1. Uh, Yoshi story, look how close percents are. This could easily go to a game five. Oh, this is and this is one of the only few times I ever end a set against Mango, especially with up air of all things against Fox. This is a big moment here. <gasps> he goes for the up air, misses it. I get my forward air oh. instead. Wow. Goes for the up B recovery, and my up air is, is just enough to kill him. Oh, yeah. Kills him yeah. off the top with up air. The H box takes. I quick pop off, and I'm ready for the fist bump. Quick and dirty. Six out of ten. Evo 2016 top 32 winners. This was uh, this was a top eight qualifier, and this one uh, it's one one. I decided to slow it the f <laughs> down. Almost played a time. There's 28 seconds left. Pause it every five seconds. It's like. I think just the thing is, I didn't even notice the clock, so I decided to fight him. Started playing for the percent lead earlier. Yeah. There's a lot. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, seconds. you got the grab. Being down know. this much, even without time, is hard. Yeah. Yeah. And I get up because I'm relieved to make it in the top eight, and then I'm about to slam the TV. Uh, yeah, pop off. <laughs> pop off the but TV. I, hit. Let's go. But I, 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 I tap it softly because, like, this is like ironically like the exact same situation where I slapped the TV. <laughs> the cheer. Hug Hugs crunch. Hugs Phil Jackson. That was my shots of Phil Jackson, Captain. Phil Hugs. Jackson. And then I. That was a good match. <laughs> I hugged the CRT as a way of saying sorry for last year. That's Is okay. that blurs to me? <laughs> that one's nice. That's a wholesome puzzle. Look at this. Luda Semis versus Mango. That's what it is. This is Evo 2016. Biggest tournament of my whole career. Uh, I have to beat Mango, one of my demons, to get into the final spot. He takes me to Pokemon Stadium. Um, and it's actually 1 1 here. He takes me to the stadium. I'm forcing him to play on the ledge and be, and be unsafe. He goes for a huge commit here. I think it's right here. Right here. I get the drill, forward throw, and then, of course, he side B recovers back on. I get the rest. He misses the tech. I jump up. And this look right here, this look that I give Mango is one of like, I'm trying to remember what, what, what the order was, but I remember Mango had always been made at Evo and this was like the one time that it mattered the most where I finally beat him. And it was kind of like a holy <laughs> shit. Like this is like the turning of the tide. This is anime as <laughs> right here, this moment. How much this meant to both of us and only one of us could go forward. And I was just like stunned that it was me. What I said. Like I, 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 I know this feeling I know this feeling that I put Mango through right here because I had gone through it so many years prior. And it's just like, it's not a good feeling to have your run be in there, and especially in that way. And it was just crazy. And then I knew that, you know, between us, like only one of us could go to fight Plup and then Armada to win the whole tournament. Mango had the best shot on paper, so now the burden was on me. Immediately after I fight Plup, uh, who beat me earlier in winners, Plup gets a huge percent lead last stock here. I'm up 2 1 on Yoshi's. And I hit the most right. clutch up tilt. That's me again. Like, I cannot believe I'm on the run of my lifetime right now. Um, the Mango one, I'll give that one like a 7 out of 10. I'll give this one also like a 7 out of 10. And I just can't believe it. A path the I, I shake his hand. I go for the, I think like a back pat. I don't know why I do that. The back pat is like me like fe feeling horrible for being the one to like end the runs. This might be my best pop up of all time. Playing around each other right now. This is not only like the best play of all time that I've ever done, but also. Armada not giving him anything. Not oh, gets anything. He gets that, that could be it. Ah! I just jump up and it's like it's like I'm watching like another team do a. Like, I'm watching like an NBA buzzer beater. It's like I'm watching myself. From outside of my body hit that. I'm just like, how the f did I do that? And so this, this is the most iconic face, Hbox Pog. I mean, you're, you're, you already know what it is. I mean, this is a 10. This is a this is pure joy and elation. And then reality clicks back in and I have to run back to my chair. I'm like, Shit, it's not done yet. I have to get back to it. 
I can't let out all my energy here. My years of popping off have taught me I cannot let out all my energy here. I have to keep some of my mojo. So I collect myself. I like amp myself up. I'm like, holy shit. Yes. One more set. Yes. Yes. I look at him and I'm understanding what the fuck this guy is actually human. It was so crazy. I said, give me a second. I mean, and you've seen this a million times. And then, of course, we go to game five, last stock, and then this this happens. And all it is is a simple edge guard. A simple edge hog. I get back up. The emotion immediately sweeps me over. I'm the world champion. I finally win an Evo. I can't even believe it. And I'm just, I'm just, I just on the floor. I uh, like, I'm on the floor. I, I smack the floor because I have to smack something. Then I get up and that's, that, this is like the loudest yell of my life. Luckily there was no mic here, but this was, I think to this day, the loudest I've ever yelled in my life. Just the loudest yes I ever have after all these years to finally be the world champion. I couldn't believe it. And Armada, th props to him. He gets up and, and does it and, and gives him the handshake. I was, I was having just way too much emotion in this moment because of how much this win went, meant to me. We do the fist bump. Not only that, but the I go to tears. I hold my fist up. The, the crowd gets louder for me. I look at Lewis, I said, what the f And the reason I won. Right there, hug, high hug crunch. Reason I won the whole thing. Um, yeah, that's just, I'm not even sure I even want to give that a rating. It's just the most, you know, uh, incredible moment of my entire life. Which I, and you've heard it over and over again. So, um, I mean, yeah. I have to give that one a 9 or a 10. It's just pure raw emotion. I mean, I'm on the floor crying. And may maybe I, I could have been more elegant about it. So maybe from the outside, it's like a seven. The reset's a 10 across the board for everyone, I think. Um, but, you know, just for me, that was a 10. Personally, I guess on paper, maybe an eight. <laughs>